So what is the data science mi mindset? That's what we're going to talk about in this module. So I'm going to discuss the importance of thinking and having the mindset of a data scientist, how you could do so, and the exact steps that you need to take. So from thinking like an engineer, a scientist, and a business person, to how these three different roles play an important part in becoming a data scientist, we are going to be getting your mind ready to face the challenges ahead. If you want to become a data scientist and create a project that will get you hired as a data scientist, then you need to start thinking like a data scientist. There's a unique mindset that you need to adopt. And this mindset is what makes careers in data science so special. To think like a data scientist, you'll have to think like a scientist, think like an engineer, and think like a business person. Why do you need to think like a scientist? Well, you are going to be using advanced analytics, investigating motivations, looking for patterns, and trying to understand the why of it all in a systematic manner. Scientists use critical thinking to discover knowledge using the scientific method. So just like a scientist, you start by researching. This means investigating the problem, finding out what's already been done, speaking with stakeholders to see what they know, and determining what's already out there. You have to hypothesize and come up with some possible solutions or explanations for the problem you're working on, thinking of ways to gain new knowledge. You're going to test the hypothesis using statistical methodology to either confirm or disprove the hypothesis, and you're going to measure your results very carefully. Most importantly, you always have to keep an open mind, question everything, challenge and scrutinize your assumptions, suspend your beliefs and your focus on what the results are actually telling you. Above all else, remember that thinking like a scientist is about being a critical thinker, not making assumptions, questioning and testing everything, and answering with data. You must respect the facts. You must respect empirical evidence and accept the results of the process. Why do you need to think like an engineer? Well, you have to write code, build systems, deploy models, and automate things. You need to engineer systems that are reproducible, testable, extensible, portable, robust, reliable, and efficient. You need to build systems to solve problems. So avoid copying and pasting your work all over the place, right? You want systems that solve the problem for you. So you need to remember that as a data scientist, you're writing statistical software. So you want to make sure you Avoid lengthy scripts as much as possible. So you need to organize your code into well-documented software that could be automated if necessary. That means creating pipelines, using object-oriented design, and always keeping the goal of scale in mind because you want to be able to have your prototype become scalable. By creating systems, your code becomes easier to test and mistakes are more easily remedied. You make your code scalable and extensible. That is a core part of engineering. That way you can bring on new data sources and reuse your model pipelines for new clients in different industries, in different markets, in different departments. When you think like an engineer, you design solutions that solve the underlying problem. This is what being a data scientist is about. This is what thinking like an engineer is about. This will make you much more powerful as a data scientist. So use your project as an opportunity to build the skill of designing solutions that solve the underlying problem and aren't just hacked together solutions. No copy pasta, no adding junk to scripts to fix solutions, Make sure you refactor your code and make changes that solve the underlying problem. Simplicity is better than complexity. So build your projects on a solid foundation and avoid something incredibly complex with numerous intricacies and many moving parts. That's not scalable. That's not robust. And that's not good engineering. Why do you need to think like a business person? Well, 
businesses are about making money. That's the goal of any business. Make money or spend less of it. If you don't make money, you go out of business. So your job as a data scientist is to solve problems that help the business make more money or spend less money. And believe it or not, the problems you're solving on HackerRank or LeetCode or whatever other site you're using to prep for interviews, they're not really related to the real world. So you need to demonstrate business acumen that you can clearly identify real world problems, that you can come up with real world solutions that solve them. That's it. You don't get a paycheck because you know 100 different algorithms or because you know all the ways to solve hackering problems. You get paid to solve problems, right? So realize that as a business person, you've got to understand how to develop, quantify, measure, and track KPIs. You need to know how to communicate using stories and present effectively. Business problems get complex, and the way to understand if your business is headed in the right direction is by measuring performance using KPIs, key performance indicators. So KPIs provide the business with a way to monitor and gauge the business health so they can gauge how successful it is. Any particular business will have key performance indicators that they are tracking and measuring. So you must be aware of these as a data scientist. What are those KPIs for your business? What does the business care about? How do those predict or measure success for your business? You must also appreciate that business is about relationships. And the best way to build relationships is through clear and empathetic communication. So make sure that you're communicating in an easy to understand language that will make your audience feel like they understand what you're doing to the point they may even think to themselves, hey, I get this stuff. I could probably be a data scientist. That right there is the trifecta of the data science mindset. You need to think like a scientist, think like an engineer, think like a business person. <laughs>